God is calling Christians to join hands with heaven, to partner with him as we journey toward his kingdom. Jesus instructs us to pray this way, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. On this show, we'll be talking about spiritual healing and deliverances, angels and demons, prophetic words, visions and dreams, unity in the body of Christ, the meaning of salvation, freedom versus legalism, anything and everything else to do with Jesus Christ, our risen Lord and Savior. I'm Blue Tap, and this is Join Hands with Heaven. Hello, welcome to Join Hands with Heaven. I'm Blue Tap, coming to you from Blue Eye, Missouri, where my husband and I are homesteaders. Thank you for watching this special edition of my podcast. I was planning on taking the month of November off, but something very interesting has happened. So here's the story. Last week, I received a strange comment from one Gary for God, 1977. He said, Blue, I did a video about you on my channel that I'm premiering tonight at 6 p.m. I will have a live chat room going while the video plays for comments. I have to be honest, I am not a fan of what you are doing, but I'd like to give you an opportunity to stop by and defend why you are defending these false prophets so vigorously. Hmm. So I checked out his channel, Gary Schumacher Exposing False Prophets. His entire channel is dedicated to blasting people that he considers to be false prophets. Hey everybody, how are we doing? It's Heretic Hump Day. Yes it is. Yes it is. It's Heretic Hump Day. Yeah babies, how we doing today? It is Heretic Hump Day. Welcome to another uh, Heretic Hump Day here on this Wednesday. I hope you're having a good work week so far. Um, I am Gary Schumacher, your host uh, with the mostest. And <laughs> I will say that generally in his videos, he's not a very nice guy. And I think he would be the first to admit that about himself. So I don't think I'm saying anything mean about him. He's very gruff and rude. And he truly seems to hate anyone who claims to be a modern day prophet. Now, I certainly do not call myself a prophet, but I have made several videos where I discuss modern day prophecy and I defend Robin Bullock and Kat Kerr, who are considered by some people to be modern day prophets. These videos have attracted the attention of Mr. Gary Schumacher and incited his righteous indignation against Moi. So I knew if I accepted his invitation to join the chat room during the premiere of the video that I would be in for what I like to call a humility training session. Now, I didn't know if I really wanted to do that or not, but I prayed about it a lot and I felt like God was saying, do it. So I accepted Gary Schumacher's invitation and that's how I ended up in the chat room for the premiere showing of Blue Tap is Whack for Mario Murillo. So this was his response video to a video I had made discussing the controversy between Mario Murillo and Kat Kerr. Here's a link to it if you haven't seen it. And yes, he was quite abusive as I had expected him to be. I am pretty unoffendable and so I actually had fun with it. I responded to the insults from him in the video and then some of the things that his followers said to me in the chat room with grace and forgiveness and just tried to be Christ-like. So Mr. Schumacher, I'm just gonna call him Gary from now on, seemed honestly shocked that I showed up. I dare say I'm probably the very first person he's made a video of who accepted his invitation to show up for the premiere. And I will give him this. He said several times in the comments and then sent me several messages thanking me for showing up to the premiere and telling me that even though he doesn't agree with me, it took a lot of guts for me to show up and he respected that. And then several days later, he sent me another message in which he actually apologized for all the mean things that he said. He still doesn't agree with me, but he did apologize very politely. So I wanted to start Start this video off by explaining to you that he did apologize to me. That took a lot of character as well. And I sincerely accept his apology. So even though he does come across rude in his videos, I believe that deep down there is a very good heart underneath all of that. So I told him that I would make a response video responding to his video about me. That's what this is. So 
show, this is a response video to his response video to my response video. And get this, Gary has agreed to join us for this premiere in the chat room as well, just like I did with his video. This is a pre-recorded video, so I don't know for sure if he is there right now while you are watching this, but I have a feeling he's probably going to show up. So Gary, if you're there, welcome to my podcast. Thank you so much for showing up. And I think my followers are going to be a lot nicer to you than your followers are to me. This is going to be fun. So when I first started making this video, I discovered that Gary has made not just one, not two, but three videos about little old me. Who knew? Now, first of all, I was just tickled to death that anybody would think I'm worthy enough of making three videos about. This is almost two hours of video footage. So I've got a lot to work with here. Let's get started. First of all, it's a bit off topic, but I wanted to clear up something that Gary said in his first video about me that is really, really wrong. Here's what he said. Um, just telling you a little bit about herself. She's homesteading out there. Now for people who don't know what homesteading is, that's where you just go out there and you find some land and you squat on it, you know, and you, uh, <laughs> and then after so long, it becomes yours. So, uh, and I'm sure the government will come along eventually and say, well, you have to pay taxes on it, but you, you homestead on it and you know, you don't have to pay for the property. So it's, 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 a, it's a scam that's been running for a very long time. So, and, uh, that, and like Robin Bullock says, this is how hippies do church. What? <laughs> What are we in the 1800s? Gotta go get my covered wagon, stake my claim in the new territory. No, we are not squatting on someone else's property. We live in a house on some land that we bought with our money that we earned at our jobs and we pay taxes on it. There's nothing illegal going on here. Now I know Gary's from New Jersey and there probably aren't a lot of homesteading kind of people out there where he lives. But it's a big thing here, and it honestly never occurred to me that somebody might not know what it is. So here's what it means. Homesteading is living off the land as sustainably as possible. So we grow and raise as much of our food as we can. We've been doing this for two and a half years, and at this point we have over 200 animals, goats, sheep, rabbits, chickens, ducks, quail, um, livestock guard dogs, and a few cats. And we grow as much of our own vegetables as we can. So that's what homesteading is. Now, it's fairly easy to find out what homesteading means out there on the old interwebs. So maybe a takeaway from this might be how easy it is to be so confidently wrong. Just saying. So back to the topic at hand. Barry has made almost two hours of video about little old me. That's a lot to go through. Obviously, I can't go through all of that during this podcast. So what I've done is put together a montage synopsis of all of the accusations that Gary Schumacher has made against Blue Tap. Roll the video. I mean, I mean, let's look, look at the hair. I mean, it, it, the, the hairstyle here is pretty wild. Uh, she really is mentally ill. And, it, and it's nice to see the pictures of the two of them side by side, because this is looks like mental illness in stereo. Look at the eyes on this woman. All right, I'm seeing her on a big screen in front of me too. There is something wrong there. There really is something wrong. This woman has got a couple screws loose. I love the look. I love the look. There is some medication that needs to be applied here. That is for sure. Um, she has, by the looks of things, not a whole lot of common sense with all those tattoos I'm seeing over there. She's got some mental problems. She is a heretic of all heretics the woman is just more heresy after the other after the other that is just uh heresy at its finest now let's listen to this a little bit more of her heresy do you know how ignorant you sound right now twist scripture like you've never seen it twisted before she will twist scripture around to prove her she's gonna twist scripture now she's twisting scripture and how she's gonna twist this scripture she twists scripture the way she does she twists god around to to see how she twists scripture right here she is just corrupting the scripture corrupting it like no one i've ever seen because she's getting ready to put a spin on second peter like you never heard before in your life you miss blue are not biblically literate you just put a spin on scripture to create a narrative because this woman is ridiculous 
It's been a long time since I found someone like this who aggravated me this much. There's just something about this woman's spirit that I I just, uh, I can't put my, it hurts my soul. It just irritates me. This is, this woman just gets under my skin. How she tramples on scripture here, but she disturbs me. She really does. She's the one that probably irritates me the most of any of these heretics on here. And there's a reason why. Because you got your cat curs and you got your, you know, your um, Robin Bullocks and so forth. And they're just hacks, really. Um, they're poorly educated. They're, uh, they don't use much of the scripture, just maybe a little bit here and there. What this woman does is she, she knows her scripture. Well, she knows how to twist scripture. And this woman can twist scripture around to fit her crazy analogy like no one I have ever seen. This woman is no dummy, okay? She seems to- So there you have it. All of Gary Schumacher's accusations against blue tack. And here is my response. Are you ready? Here it is. I am guilty. guilty. I have no desire to defend myself and I have no wish to prove that I am right. I am guilty of sin. I have fallen short of the glory of God. I am deserving of death because I am the chief of sinners. But for that very reason, I was shown mercy so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his immense patience as an example for those who would believe in him and receive eternal life. And those are the words of Paul in 1 Timothy 1.15. I blame myself because obviously I have not been clear, even though I try to say this in every single video. I obviously have not been clear because Gary has misunderstood me. Out of 71 videos on my YouTube channel, six of those videos discuss and defend Robin Bullock and or Kat Kerr. Not because I believe everything they say, as Gary says I do over and over and over again. Oh, I do like them. I listen to them. And to Gary, that might be enough right there to condemn me. But I have never said that I think they are right about everything. I, I don't believe everything they say. I don't believe everything anybody says, and you shouldn't either, because we are all wrong about something. We have all fallen short of the glory of God. We are all seeing through a mirror darkly as long as we are in these flesh bodies with these little human brains. None of us has it all figured out. And if we remember that, it helps us to have grace for people who disagree with us. In almost every video I make, I try to say somewhere in the video that I recognize that I, Blue Tap, could be wrong about everything. I try very hard to remember that about myself. We do well to keep in mind our own human fallibility, frailties, and imperfections. No, I defend Robin Bullock and Kat Kerr because they are fellow believers in Jesus Christ who are being mercilessly attacked by other Christians. And I am a defender of the body of Christ. If Gary Schumacher were also being mercilessly attacked by other Christians, I would defend him too. Mario Murillo, in my video, said that we should listen to Christian leaders like C.S. Lewis. If you want to understand more about heaven, don't turn to Cat Kerr. Turn to someone like C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis is one of my favorites. So here is a C.S. Lewis quote for you. There are no ordinary people. You have never talked to a mere mortal. Nations, cultures, arts, civilizations, these are mortal. And their life is to ours, like the life of a gnat. But it is immortals whom we joke with, work with, marry, snub, and exploit. Immortals. Every single one of us are eternal beings made in the image of God loved deeply by God and died for by Jesus Christ. And some of us, those of us who believe in Jesus Christ, we're family. We are collectively the body of Christ. So should we not treat each other with respect? Am I saying that we have to agree with every other Christian? Of course not. I disagree with Mario Murillo 
and Rick and Bubba, and I made videos about it. But if you watch my videos, you will see that even though I disagree with them, I try to treat them respectfully. I try to find good things to say about them. I don't pretend that I can read their minds or know what their inner motivations are, because only God knows that. I don't insult their intelligence or their appearance or their mental health. Now, as I said, Gary has apologized to me, and I accept that, and I appreciate it. But his videos about me are still on his channel. Now, I am not asking for one second for him to take those videos down, because believe me, I know how much time and effort we put into making these videos. But it sure would be nice for him to back up that apology with some sort of little note in the video description. Just saying. But regardless of whether he does that or not, Gary, if you're watching this, I accept your apology, and I forgive you. And I love love you with the love of Jesus Christ, brother, no matter what you say about me. I forgive you for saying these things. And she, we need to, you know, cut this woman down, her channel down, before she gets to be too big. Please, Lord, have this woman shut down this channel and have her, have the scales removed from her eyes and the people who support her. And she has to be stopped. And her channel grows every day. So if you can, we gotta get out there and warn people about, about this person because she is not to be listened to and she's not to be trusted, okay? I forgive you, even though every time you put out one of your videos about me, some of your followers come to my social media pages and leave threatening messages to me and my family and friends. I forgive you, even though every time you put out one of those videos about me, my business gets attacked somehow. I run an internet business. I'm a website developer. So my question to you, Gary, is this what you are intending to happen? Are you okay with your followers attacking my friends and my family? and attacking my business that helps support my family? Are you okay with this cancel culture behavior? Because I would never do that to you, no matter what you say about me. I would defend your right to free speech and to your YouTube channel, even if you made a thousand more videos condemning me. And you have accused me of being dangerous. Gary Schumacher, you understand freedom. You're a Navy vet. Thank you for your service. My husband is also a Navy vet. So you understand freedom because you are willing to fight for it. And see, I think deep down inside, Gary Schumacher, you have a really good heart. I can see that because of the apologies that you sent to me and because of the way that you love your family, which is evident in your videos. But some of your followers are not like that. It's a great responsibility we have to use our words wisely, especially when we have a platform where people listen to us. Now I know, Gary, that you love Matthew 7, 15. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Now that's a good one. But do you know how that same chapter, Matthew 7, how it starts? Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take that speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. And that is Matthew 7, 1 through 5. You see, that is context. You've got to look at the whole thing. That's Jesus talking there. So let's get some more context. What else did Jesus say? What did Jesus say was the most important? Only one time in the Gospels does someone ask him, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment? And what did he say? Find everyone you think is a false prophet and demonize them on YouTube. No! Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. So when Jesus is asked, what is the most important thing to do? He responds with love. Love God and love your neighbor. In the very last conversation Jesus had with his own father in the Garden of Gethsemane, before he was crucified, he said this, I pray for those who will believe in me, that's us, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete 
unity. Then the world will know that you have sent me and have loved them even as you loved me. John 17, 20 through 23. So Jesus prayed for us, his believers, to be one, to be brought to complete unity. It's the last thing that he said to his own father before he died. So I think it's pretty safe to say that he thought it was important. And so I think it's important too. And that is why I have made some videos to respectfully call out Christians who are attacking other Christians. You see, I don't care if anybody believes that Kat Kerr actually went to heaven or not. What I care about is how we treat Kat Kerr, because she is a fellow believer in Jesus Christ. And because that woman has never said a mean word to or about anybody, probably in her whole life. Now, Robin Bullock, He's getting a little bit fiery lately, so I don't know if I can say that about him. Seems like he's getting kind of angry, and so I pray that he will be able to keep that under control. But Kat Kerr has never said a bad thing about anybody. And if the old lady wants to go outside and howl at the wind, she has the right to do that. And we hit that storm to the east right now, and I'm going to do it three times. And I don't care how much money she makes. It's none of my business. It's none of anybody's business. If she's a smart businesswoman, good for her. People can make up their own minds who they want to listen to and who they want to give their money to. And as for me, I don't make hardly any money. I raise goats and sheep and chickens, and I make websites for people in my own home. I'm not making any money off of any of this. Believe it or not, I'm actually doing what I think God wants me to do. And Gary Schumacher, I know you're doing the same thing. And I respect that. Our callings from God are so important. It is our purpose, the reason why he made us. Our callings are probably the most important thing about us. It's the reason why we exist, is to do what God has called us to do. So whatever that calling is, don't you think it should be carried out in a way that is loving. Should it not be rooted and grounded in the love of Jesus Christ? Because remember, Jesus said that the most important two commandments are love. Love God, love your neighbor. And the last thing he said to his father before he died was to request that we would be one, that we would be united in complete unity. So I'm going to end with this. Gary Schumacher, I've been praying for you. And not a mean kind of prayer. I've been praying earnestly for you and your family that God would bless you abundantly. And I've got a word for you. And now you can put this on your channel and you can make fun of it. I don't care. But here it is. God has a great calling on your life, Gary Schumacher. The devil would love to steal that away from you. But there is a better way. A way of walking in the love and forgiveness of Jesus Christ. In unity with the body of Christ that is more magnificent than your wildest imaginations. God is beginning to give you prophetic dreams. And if he hasn't already, he's going to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. And you're going to start speaking in tongues. I am so excited about what God is going to do in your life. Gary Schumacher, I love you, brother, with the love of Jesus Christ. And I am honored that I will be praising God alongside of you for all of eternity. God bless you.